Okay, part two. Emma, spell this or read this word for me. Bite bites. Good. What's the base word? Bite. And what's the word with the suffix? Bites. Bites. What do you notice about this word? It has a suffix. It does have a suffix. And what is the vowel pattern? Vowel constant E. Good. Okay, help me put it back. Uh, Good. Oh, yeah, leave that out. Okay, could you read that word for me, please? Case cases. Good. What's the suffix? Case, I mean, cases. What's the suffix? S. S. And what's the base word? Case. Good. And what's the vowel pattern that you see? Vowel constant E. Good. Okay, help me put it back. Okay, and now we're going to do some multisyllabic words, okay? Okay, so now we're going to move on to multisyllabic words. Okay, so go ahead and read that word for me. Classmate, classmates. Good. Um, tell me about what suffix are you using? S. Good. And tell me about the syllable here? Vowel constant E. Good. Okay. And let's do the next one. Reptiles. What's the base word? Reptile, reptiles. Say it louder, please. Reptile, reptiles. Good. And what's the first syllable? Rep. And what kind of vowel do you hear here? E. What is it, long or short? Well, short. Short. And what sound is it making? E. I mean, E. Eh. What sound is it making? E. Eh. Good. And what about this syllable here? Um, long. It's long. What kind of syllable is that? Um, vowel constant E. Good. Say A. A. What letter says A? A constant E. Say E. E. What says E? E constant E. Say I. I. What says I? I. Say uh. Uh. What says uh? U. Say G. G. What says G? G. Say O. O. What says O? O constant E. Uh, good. What says Y? Um, Y. Good. What says G? G. 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 J. What says G? I'm a G. G. What says Y? Y. Say Y. 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 Say it as you write it. Y. Good. Say um, A. A. What says A? A. Constant E. Good. Say g. G. What says g? Um, g. Write it as you say it. G. g. Say i. I. What says i? I. And say o. O. What says o? O constant e. Okay. Okay, spell rosebud. Rosebud. Use your cards. Rose bud. Rose, R O S E bud, B U D E. Point to the syllable and say bud. Bud. B U D. B U D E. What sound do you hear here? You. Say the syllable. Bud. Tap out bud. Bud. Oh, B U D. B U D. Okay. So say it as you write it. S E B U D. Good. Now scoop and check that word. Rose bud. Good. Spell baseball. 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 Base B A S E ball B E L I mean B A L L. Good. B Spell it as you write it. A S E B A L L Base Ball. Good. Spell lifelong. Lifelong. Life long. Life L I V E long L O N G. Say life 
long. Life long. Point to the cards again. Life long. Life, L-I-V-E, long, L-O-N-G. Tap this syllable out. What's the syllable? Life. Tap life. it out. Life. Life. Okay, spell life. L-A-V-L-I-F-E. Okay, and then what's this one? Long. Spell long. L-O-N-G. Okay, so now write it. Spell it as you write it. L I. V, I mean, S, E, L, O, N, G. Okay, now scoop it and read it. Read Life it. Long. Okay, and now includes. 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 In What's the base word? Include, include. <laughs> in, I, N, include, C, L, U, D. Here, what do you need to use? What do you need to grab? There you go. Okay, so wait, do this one again. Include. In, I, N, include, C, L, U, D. Hang on. Tap this out. Cool. Ood. To ood. C, L, U, D. What sound is the U making? Uh uh. It's an in. Ooh. It's making ooh, so what has to, how it, does that have to be spelled? C, L, U, D, E. Good. I N C L U D E S. Good. Scoop it. Include. Okay, so say include includes. In include includes. Good. Last one. Ringside. Ringside. Yep. Wing side. Do you need that? What? Wing R I N G side S I D E. Good. R-I-N-G-S-I-D-E. Hang on, wait a minute. Hang on. Okay, so scoop it and read that for me. Link side. Okay, look at the second syllable. What should that syllable say? Link. The second syllable. What should it say? Side. Side. Okay. Good. So now scoop it and reread it. Wink side. Good. Part 10. Come closer. Okay. So, Emma, we're going to read this story about dung beetles traveling by the stars. And do you know what a dung beetle is? Um, is a beetle. That louder. Say louder. It's a beetle that, like a poop beetle. Yeah, it likes poop, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is this story is called Dung Beetles Traveling by the Stars. And I'm going to read this to you. And after I'm done reading it to you, we're going to talk about the vocabulary. And I'm going to model how um, I'm making the movie in my mind as I read this. So just sit back and listen. So, dung beetles traveling by the stars. Have you ever heard of dung beetles? If you have, your first thought might be, yuck. If you haven't, dung beetles might seem kind of gross because they live in and eat animal droppings. However, truth be told, they're also quite amazing. Besides having not so appetizing food and living preferences, dung beetles are very strong. They could roll or bury balls of dung that are 250 times heavier than their own bodies. Some dung beetles are nicknamed rollers because they roll the dung they collect. Others are called tunnelers because they bury dung. Last but not least are the dwellers who don't bother rolling or burying the, dug they, the dung they find. They just like to live in it. As you're reading this, you're probably realizing that dung beetles are pretty interesting. Well, they happen to have another neat trick. They often use their daily... Uh, they, they happen to have another neat trick they often use in their daily activities. Dung beetles use the position of the stars above to help them travel in completely straight lines. That means they're the only known animals to use the Milky Way for navigation. As cool as this fact is, scientists have known about it for a while. What they didn't know is how the dung beetles accomplished this task. Thanks to a recent study, now they do. When dung beetles need to eat, they detach a chunk of dung from a pile, shape it into a ball, and roll it away. They have to make their getaway quickly so their precious meal doesn't get stolen by other greedy and hungry dung beetles. The fastest way to exit a risky situation is to travel in a straight line. So that's exactly what dung beetles do. They roll their prized poop away in perfectly straight patterns. How they managed to do this has long been a mystery. Then a few years ago, 
scientists from Lund University in Sweden discovered dung beetles have an internal compass that orients the insects according to the position of the stars and moon. Wow. So there was a whole lot going on in that passage. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to reread this passage to you now, and I'm going to share with you the movie that I'm making in my mind. So dung beetles traveling by the stars. Have you ever heard of dung beetles? If you have, your first thought might be yuck. If you haven't, dung beetles might seem kind of gross because they live in and eat animal droppings, which is animal poop, which is totally gross. However, truth be told, they're also quite amazing. Besides having not so appetizing food and living preferences, dung beetles are very strong. They can roll or bury balls of dung that are 250 times heavier than their own bodies. And wow, that's pretty strong. So I'm picturing like this little dung beetle and it's like lifting up this big, huge piece of poop that's 250 <laughs> times bigger than its own body. That's a lot. Um, some dung beetles are nicknamed rollers because they roll the dung they collect. Others are called tunnelers because they bury dung. Last but not least are the dwellers who don't bother rolling or burying the dung they find. They just like to live in it. So after that, I'm kind of picturing, I didn't know that there were three different types of beetles. So there's the rollers and they're rolling it. And then there's the tunnelers and they're like digging and burying the dung that they find. And then there's, what was the last one? The... What do they like to do? Dwellers. The dwellers, and what do they do? They, they like to just live in it. Yeah, they just like to live in it. They just like to hang out in it. As you're reading this, you're probably realizing that dung beetles are pretty interesting. Well, they happen to have another neat trick they often use in their daily activities. Dung beetles use the positions of the stars above to help them travel in completely straight lines. That means they're the only known animal to use the Milky Way for navigation. Um... So that part means, I can see, I know what navigation means, and it means to, like, find their way. So they have to look up. I'm picturing these beetles. They get their little piece of poop, and then they look up at the stars, and they're like, which way do I go? And then they roll it away. As cool as this fact is, scientists have known about it for a while. What they didn't know is how the dung beetles accomplish this task, thanks to a recent study they do now. When dung beetles need to eat, they detach a chunk of dung from a pile, shape it into a ball, and roll it away. Oh. So they, like, see a pile of poop, they take a piece of it, they roll it into a ball, and then they, what do they do with it? They roll it away. They have to make their getaway quickly so their precious meal doesn't get stolen by another greedy and hungry dung beetle. The fastest way to exit a risky situation is to travel in a straight line, so that's exactly what dung beetles do. They roll their prized poop away in perfectly straight patterns. How they managed to do this has long been a mystery, and a few years ago, scientists from Lund University in Sweden discovered dung beetles have an internal compass that orients the insects according to the position of the stars and moon. Wow. Oh. So, the beetles somehow have some natural way to look up at the stars <clears throat> and find their way, which is what kind of way? Away from a situation. Like, what's the quickest way? To water. Yeah. Or to dig it. Well, what, but should, do they go like this? No, they go straight. In a straight line. So the quickest way to go is in a straight line. Okay. So what we're going to do is, is really quickly, I just want to make sure that you know a few different vocabulary words here. So we've already talked about what dung is and what's dung. Poop. Poop. Dung is poop. Um, I wanted to make sure that you know what the word dine means. What does dine mean? To eat. To eat. Good. And then, um, if it's said in here that the beetles are dwellers. And so what does it mean to like, to, to like dwell in something means to live in it. Okay. And then the last thing is, um, a compass. And a compass is like a tool that you use and it tells you which way to go. Um... So, okay, so what I want you to do now that I've, like, read this to you is um, I want you to make that movie in your mind uh, as to what I've just read you, okay? And I want you, let's, 
like rehearse retelling this passage. So can you retell to me like what I've just read to you? So you read to me about these dung beetles that um, there were three different kind of them. There's ones that wool the dung. Mm -hmm. There's ones that bury the dung and there's one that lives in the dung. Do you remember what the ones that bury the dung are called? Diggers? No, they're not diggers. They're called tunnelers. 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 And then, do you remember what the ones that like to roll stuff, what their nickname is? Rollers. Rollers, very good. And then the ones that just like to live in it? Dwellers. Dwellers, very good. Okay, so keep going. So what else? So they, um, there's this cool thing that they do is to roll them or dig to roll them. Mm -hmm. The... Dung beetles will use the Milky Way. Yeah, what's the Milky Way? The stars and the, the stars. Uh huh. To direct themselves to wherever they're going. Oh, okay. And which way do they want to go? Straight. They want to go what? Straight. Straight. Why? Why do they want to go straight? That's the easiest way. It's the easiest way. Not only is it the easiest, but it's also the, the quickest. The quickest. And why would it be like really important for them to to get away quickly? Because then maybe something might get them. Or huh. they're gonna, um, an animal might get it. Uh, yeah, an animal could eat the dung beetle, but why else is it important for the beetles to get away quickly? Because no dung beetle can get the dung. Yeah, get their food, right? So they gotta get their food out quick. Um, okay, so how do they get away in the straight line? They use the Milky Way. They use the Milky Way, okay. And how did how did we find this out? Um, by a scientist. Um, so some kind of scientist. Yeah. Found found that they do that. Yeah. So scientists have known. Uh, do you know? Do you remember where the scientists are? University. Uh, Sweden. Yeah, they're in a university in Sweden. Um, all right. Good.